welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Azini Williams. How are you all doing? Hope you guys are good. Hope you guys are fine. If you're new to the channel, kindly click on the subscription button. Click on the notification bell to let you know whenever I post any new video. Okay, guys. So last year, October, Davido's right-hand man stroke praise singer Israel got married. Like we were all happy for him. Yes, guys. I mean, the wedding was a talk of town. Davido was in attendance. Top celebrities were in attendance. Money was flowing right, left, right and center. You can see him and his wife beaming with joy and love and all of that. But that was um approximately a year ago because as it stands today that marriage is no longer binding yes guys they have gone their separate ways and no it's not so much in a very peaceful manner because this morning at about 3 a.m Israel woke up and decided to pour out his mind. Now, mind you, they've been patching this gist, you know, telling us that it's rumors and all of that. Because I remember, that, was it last month or last two months? Gist Lover brought the news that the marriage is no longer standing and they all try to cover it up. But you all know when it comes to celebrities, they can't hide it forever. Yes, guys. So Israel took to his Instagram page and wrote this lengthy piece about what led to the dissolution of his marriage. And I'm going to read. He said, marrying a lady because you met her during evangelism as a virgin, a pastor's daughter, a member of your same winner's chapel might not guarantee anything peace at all. Don't be too eager or quick to trust people. People can change at any time. People can be very ungrateful and deceptive. I met Sheila February 19, 2022. We became friends, which later became intimate. She told me she would only lose her virginity to the man that would marry her. Since her Yugev Cross River mother, who is now 41, who had earlier married two different men with two kids before marrying her father and that she was overdue um, at 21 for marriage. We fully agreed with the terms and conditions. I immediately began a full upgrade of her unkept situation by firstly giving her 300,000 Naira and also replacing her tattered phone of less than 60,000 Naira to a brand new iPhone 12 Pro Max of 860,000 Naira in less than two weeks. I later also replaced the 12 Pro Max to a brand new 14 Pro Max of 1.2 million Naira that she's currently using to slay. I did a lot of shoppings for her bought her clothes and bags including expensive human hairs she's using without sleeping with her then i later proposed and she fully accepted we later did a legally introduction tradition and white weddings in benin city Sheila immediately changed by showing her real self after our wedding by wanting to set standards for me because she now felt she was blown as juju wife fully verified on instagram with more followers from her earlier struggling 3,000 followers when I met her. A fully supper girl I met with just 2,700 in her account. I have never raised my hands on her any day. I don't beat women at all. I respect them so much. The least money for her upkeep was 100,000 Naira. She now wakes up to tell me that I derive dignity in begging my ogre and that I'm fully a slave and that I'm disgracing her on social media. I had earlier taken her to show same ogre for the first time before we wedded. When we were in Abuja, Transcorp Hilton, and Olga asked her straightforward if she was ready for marriage. And she fully answered by saying yes, and Olga immediately gave her 500,000 Naira for airtime. Olga was fully present in Benin for my wedding. After cancelling a 140 million Naira show appearance, I like to say that the Olga in question here 
is David Doe. So I'll continue reading. After cancelling a 140 million naira show appearance, Oga had to even cough out another extra 30 million naira to get a jet since his own was away in America for servicing. She finally moved out of my house August 8 to Abuja to meet her friend Ginika, a well verified prostitute for fornication. After four attempts with flimsy excuses, her Calabar mother is the most wicked and heartless woman every man should avoid as a mother-in-law. There is nothing I didn't do to please this woman, a pure fake church deaconess. Sheila would always enter my August DM to discredit me. She kept showing everyone my August chat that Oga doesn't like me at all, that Oga said he's even tired of me. I was fully the one that even introduced her to Oga. I was the one who told Oga to start following her back on IG. People should be careful of Sheila and her parents. They are fully gold diggers. They fully extorted me. They want to look another or they want to look for another highest bidder to sell their daughter to again. He also said, I immediately went into serious depression. Thanks for Oga, who would always call to check on me and make me laugh. Now, this is what Israel put out as early as 3 a.m. this morning. Don't worry, we will talk about it. I'll tell you what I think about what he wrote. But before then, let's also look at Sheila's response to the whole accusation she put this out in response to what israel said and this is what she wrote i sincerely apologize to any and everyone that my decision on how to go about this doesn't sit well with this apology is for the people i respect my parents topping the list and every other person. Now, to all of you that are being mad in my DMs, just get lost and stay away from what you know nothing about. Gullible clowns. If anything happens to me or any member of my family at Israel, DMW should be held responsible. Going to my mom's shop to beat her up, you want QP King, Q Mama join. This isn't even something to be quiet about at this point. Then she tagged the Nigerian police. She also went on to say, I was going to post this just yesterday. I held back because aside involving the police, I reached out to someone I believe could reach him and would act on it. I say make I know forward so I don't get the oh you shouldn't have brought it online yada yada yada. This man carried boys to harass my mom at her shop. I'm not here to run you all the whole story of what went down and what has been going on. The only thing at Israel DMW can brag about and still brags about is the online publicity he has given me that is undisputed. A lot of you only got to know me during the wedding. Have I always been in the social media space though? Yes, I have been a two-time beauty queen and had brands I was working with already. Was my mother ever married to anybody before my dad? No. Did anybody deceive Israel? No. Instead, it's the man that deceived the whole family, especially my father, who took a genuine likeness to him. My papa no be Otedola, but we are comfortable enough for him to be training two of my siblings in a renowned private university or private universities, running businesses and paying every bill that needs attention without begging. He posted a screenshot of a transaction. Um, I think it was for the purchase of a phone. She said, both the phone and the generator he collected from my mom yesterday was immediately replaced by my dad. Everything Israel ever did, he was never asked or coerced. He just always thinks doing all these little things will cover up his demonic attitude. Saying this might be petty, but I don't care. He didn't get me my first iPhone. Even my younger sister, they use iPhone when I meet you, Israel, and I was using iPhone too. I know you suffer partial memory loss. She also said, must I add that I'm from a well-respected family? And this man is hell-bent on painting my family what it's not. Adam, so Shomole and my dad are first cousins for crying out. So me and my family aren't looking for a poverty alleviation plan. And even if it cannot be Israel. This man saw me for the first time while I was on an outreach, which beforehand I never knew of his online presence. He asked for my number, which I refused to give, but took his instead and never called him, only dropped it off at the follow-up unit. After which I traveled that very day and wasn't back till the next week. And this man defined me up and down until he got to my dad. He carried all kinds of certificates from church, claiming to be born again, that he's different so he 
is this or blah, 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 blah. My father fell for it because he is a church member and he has done this and that. That very day, he told my father that he wanted to marry me. In fact, even before he met my dad, he told the person that helped him get to my father that he wants to marry me. You can drag me to the mud and back, make I for lock up, but you don't get to do that with my family. You don't. Clearly, you don't value yours, but you know how much I value mine and in extension, how I value your own family too, as I've taken them as mine and anybody way do where they do, you can handle this better when it reach your turn. Do it as you like. When your parents, especially your mom, is being constantly abused by your supposed husband, when you are being locked out of your matrimonial home for no reason, when you are physically and emotionally abused, when you're constantly threatened, when your mental health is on zero, when you have series of panic attacks, when you are accused of taking pills to not get pregnant, when you are deprived of doing anything, when you marry a man that gives no account of how the money realized from your wedding was spent, or how how much it be at all at all or see waiting i use and do when you marry a man that all you want for is the best but he is the weapon fashioned against you when you marry a man that doesn't want to be productive and when you try to push and encourage him you are controlling and in them know they control a dumb man when you experience your own do as you like you people are used to women showing you weakness but i'm sorry i can't give that and i would never throw a pity party so let the barbie called Israel DMW throw a pity party and you all can go feed on the lies he's serving. Now, that was a very long and lengthy read, but I think both husband, a strange husband and a strange wife, all have a part to play in this whole issue, right? First of all, going through what Israel wrote, it seemed like he wanted a church girl. Like from everything that's been narrated, he saw a church girl during evangelism because, you know, she's a pastor's daughter, a deaconess daughter and all of that. He went straight ahead proposing marriage even before he started courting this girl. He actually didn't really get to know her because, I mean, she's a church girl and she's a virgin. And for him, that's the only criteria he needs for a wife. And that was it. That was like the beginning of the wahala. And he was spending money, splurging money, buying iPhones, doing whatever. He was not coerced to do it. Like you decide to show off your wealth, show off your financial capabilities, you know, to a woman and their family doing things that you were not even asked to do. And you decided to do it in quote, out of love and because you don't find wife material. So how is that a problem? How is that the girl's fault? Like how? Anyways, he goes ahead with the marriage, introduces her to David o, you know, and all of that. And now probably what he expected this church girl to be isn't what she is because probably he expected, oh, the church girl that was, you know, sit at home and be timid, you know, and not, you know, have an open eye like the other Lagos girls and all of that. It's not who she is. Now she's pushing him. Now she's asking questions. Now she wants to know about their finances. She wants him to do this. She wants him to do that. And he ends up being like, no, you are controlling. You cannot control an Edo man. Now he's thinking oh he's been scammed oh um the family is not good he goes ahead you know to collect the things that he bought for the mother and all of that do you notice how he kept you know talking about what he has spent the iphone trying to broke shame the family trying to broke shame the girl calling her a sapa girl that is a poverty girl that she had only 2700 naira in her account yeah Looking at all that, he feels like all the things he has done for her monetarily is enough for him to, you know, um, have a peaceful home, so to speak. Now, from the girl's angle, I'm seeing a lot of things. I'm seeing on on rich expectation, for the lack of a better word, she married this man. Because probably, okay, he's famous when she realized, okay, he's famous, he's connected to David O. We are not going to scratch out that fat. And she thinks, okay, I'm going to marry this man. Even though I'm seeing this man that, okay, he is David O's praise singer. He's always coming on the internet to praise David O. I want to change this man for the better. That's a very wrong move. Like, this is what you found this man doing. What on earth gives you the impression that when you marry this man, he's going to change because of you? She might have had a good intention. Honestly, she might have. But going in to change a man the way he's already is, and it's not like the man wanted to change by himself, will present you as a nagging person, a controlling person. And yeah, 
it will not work. Now she goes into that marriage asking him, do better for yourself. You cannot always, you know, be, you know, a team with David o, praise singer of David o, can't always be that. How long would you continue to do that? It's embarrassing because you're always following David o. If David o does not drop money, you're not going to get money. It's embarrassing me. And the question I love to ask her is, did you not see that it was embarrassing before you married him? Like, that's a big question. Did you not see that? Now you going there thinking, okay, you're going to change him, bring him business prospects and all of that. How is that going to work? work with a man that thinks that the only way he can earn is through praising David Doe. Like, she didn't think this whole thing true. I think both of them just rushed into that marriage for certain expectations that, okay, this one is marrying this person because she's a church girl and she's not going to give a hell She's not going to be asking questions. This one is marrying this one because um, I'm going to change him. He's famous. He can capitalize on his fame. Probably, you know, ask David o to bring him money to support businesses and ideas. Meanwhile, that man is not built like that. And now you're saying he's not a productive man. It doesn't mean he's not a productive man. It's just like he's not wired that way. That is why, you know, this is how he thinks. It might be wrong to you, but you met him that way. From everything, I don't think this girl's family is hungry. I just feel like Israel is being a typical, you know, in quote, Nigerian man that would throw money around to impress a girl. And now he has done that as, and it's not what, you know, he's thinking. He's probably a traditional thinking man in some way, you know, and this is, you know, an eye opener. Don't marry somebody that you people are not on the same wavelength. This person is thinking south. This one is thinking north. I feel like they scammed each other. They had expectations that were not communicated. But I shall wish them well. What are your thoughts on this whole Israel and um, his wife's situation? Let me know in the comment section. On that note, I'd like to say a very big thank you to you all for being part of my channel. If you have not yet subscribed, what exactly are you waiting for? Kindly click on the subscription button. Click on the notification bell to let you know whenever I post any new video. Until I come your way again, I remain your darling girl, Izzy Williams. Have yourself a beautiful, wonderful day ahead.